In this video, I'll be showing you how to install full gauge MT512 as a fan cycle control. All right, so before I continue with the installation, I just want to explain why I'm using a digital controller to control the fans versus a conventional pressure-based controller. Because it's definitely better and it's recommended by all the big manufacturers that you monitor the condenser temperature by the temperature of the refrigerant leaving the condenser versus the pressure. This is true test of the full gauge controller. We're gonna drop it and then now we're gonna install it and hope that it still works. All right, now first thing we gotta do is we gotta find the wires that go to pretty much the power supply. And in this case, since this controller is dual voltage, it's 115 between pins seven and eight, and it's 220 to 240 volts or 208 to 240 volts between pins zero and nine. So the first thing we need to do is look at our condenser. It might not look like this, but we're gonna find line one and line two. You do not, if you're in the United States, you do not want this wire here because this is 240 volts to ground. If you're running this as 115, uh, I'm seeing these things hooked up a lot of ways. Sometimes people grab, you know, a hot from this wire and then a neutral from the case. If you get this two combination right here, this is 220 volts to ground. These two right here are 120 volts to ground. So this is what you want. You either want to be between line one, line two, line one, line three, line two, line three, or any combination. And this is going to be the power for our controller, which goes to terminal seven and terminal nine because we're using 240 volts. So now we're gonna install the controller. This is line one, and this is gonna go into zero. Now this is line two, line two in our case, since we're, we're, uh, we're hooking this up to a 240 volt system, is gonna go to terminal number nine. So we have 240 volts input power between terminal seven and terminal nine. And next, this is our wire that is going out to our fans, which I actually just showed in the other one. So this is gonna go to terminal number 11, which is originally called refrigeration terminal. So I guess it's kind of like refrigeration. And that is it, controller's hooked up. So last but not least is our sensor. Can't have a controller without a sensor. And that is just like every other controller we hooked up it's gonna go to terminals three and can't quite see it but it's four three and four now that we got our controller hooked up our sensor hooked up we got power going in the circuit the sensor we're good to go I'm just gonna kind of put that right in there Damn. it's gonna kind of throw it in there Last thing we have to do is to mount our sensor. Now, got about six feet of sensor wire. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it right to the liquid line, right near, I mean, I'm just gonna pick a place, I would say anywhere around here is fine. And what I use to mount the sensor, depending where you live, there's a hardware store near you, or automotive store. You could either use these small hose clamps, obviously depending on the size of the line here, this is a 3 8 line, so I got a small half inch hose clamp. This is enough. Or these are these are the type of clamps that I prefer to use right here. And uh, I mean, these are much better, a lot more contact area. But if you can find these, and I don't know what these are called, they're called something, but they're definitely hose clamps. They're like, I don't know, aeromotive hose clamps and these are automotive hose, hose clamps. So, uh, but yeah, these, you can find these anywhere at your auto parts store near you. And good luck with that. So we're just gonna route our sensor just through pretty much a safe zone on the condenser somewhere out of the way where it's not gonna get burned or damaged. And I'm just gonna bring it up here to this liquid line. So I'm gonna use this clamp here, the automotive clamp, because that's probably what most people are gonna use because those aeromotive clamps aren't easy to get a hold of. But these you can find anywhere, even at your hardware store, Home Depot. Anywhere, donde sea. Just mount this sensor in a safe spot. Not so much for that. It is hard working with that finger. Sucker hurt. 
spots. And now what you gotta watch for is just make sure that you have a good contact area between the sensor and the pipe. And then don't tighten this clamp too, too tight on that roller bag sensor because it's possible you could damage it. The sensor is actually really small inside there, but uh, that's pretty much it. Nice and tight, making good contact. We're just gonna route this wire out of the way here so it's not touching anything. And we'll, we'll tie that up later. But now it's time to start up the unit and I'm gonna show you how to program that controller. Next thing we gotta do is program our controller and this is where the full gauge really shines because since it's digital, I mean, this is how we're able to use it for so many different applications because it's all programming dependent. So we're gonna go into the programming menu, hold the up and down keys simultaneously. Yes! And then you go to function 01, the default access code is 123. Then you hit set. And then we're gonna go to function five, which is our differential. So we're gonna make it a differential of 15. And then we're gonna go into our defrost time, which is F08. And then we're gonna put it at zero. You can also use this as a heater controller by switching this to hot, but that's not what this video is about. So this stays at zero. That means that we're not running any defrost time. The defrost is completely eliminated. Now we're gonna hit set, and that is pretty much all we have to change in the settings menu. We hold the set key, go back to the home screen. So next thing we have to set is our set point. We're gonna hold our set key. Now we have our set point at 85. That means that our fans turn off at 85 degrees. And the way that this works is 85 is gonna be our cut out. So our differential is 15, and our set point is 85. That means that the fans are gonna cut out at 85 degrees and they're gonna cut in at 100 degrees. And that is pretty much it. Now that is how you install a full gauge MT512 as a fan cycle control. If you need any additional support for any other controllers or different installations, look down on this page match up your controller type with your installation type or your desired installation might be there as well thanks for watching adios